so you've seen all the photos, all the Instagram videos, all the stuff about van life. It looks like a dream, but if you watch this until the end, you'll find out that it's probably not the right thing for you. Let me explain. Things can break, and if they can break, then they will break. So you'll need to know how to fix them. Now, obviously, I'm no mechanic. If you've seen my build series, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Oh my God. This shit is hard. Uh, I feel like it's getting better, though, he says as the van breaks down. <laughs> but I think it's really important to actually be open to learning new things and to getting your hands dirty. If you're not really into that stuff, then maybe this isn't for you. Man, if there's one thing I really love, it's my PS5. Said no one living in a van ever. Because if you want to actually move into such a small space, you gotta adopt some form of minimalism. Minimalism isn't about getting rid of all the good stuff. Minimalism is about getting intentional about the things that you own. And if you're moving into a van, you'll probably have to do that. And the third reason about why van life is really not for you is that things can get really dirty really, really quick. Um, so if you're someone who definitely doesn't like cleaning, uh, yeah, then you probably shouldn't be living in a van. Um, okay, sure, so why the hell do I live in a van? Well, living in a van is a lot of things, but it's definitely not boring. It's allowed me to meet loads of incredible people and just collect tons of stories to tell. Which I know sounds a little cliche, but in my opinion it's what makes for an interesting life. If you also think that that's a little bit more important than the downsides that I've mentioned... Then go for it and you'll have fun. Okay, Gonzalo, that sounds really, really cool, but I don't have a van. I have no idea how to build a van. Well, that was me six months ago. I made a series on how I built my van, so you should definitely check that out. 